Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, or Karkadash. Just all praises to the world called God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, Bashim, meaning in the name, and Yahweh, Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the whole full elect, preaching the word and truth and sincerity. I'm Brother Toss Bob with another video to edify a little will. And um, I wanted to touch on this, right? It says Zelensky asks is Marion spirit cooking and bravo Ambrovic um to become ambassador of Ukraine. <laughs> right. And this is the left side we we in a time how do I say this? We in the we're we're in the time of Pharaoh Khan on the sorcerers, right? They were in e Egypt, right? We're in the time of the Babylonians calling on what the 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 wizards in the time of Babylon, right? And in the time of Jezebel, right? Right? She had what her 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 left hand prophets. We're in that time. We're in that time because what they're they're getting addressed in the spirit and the things that brothers are saying through the spirit of the Lord, guided through the spirit of the Lord to say are coming in true. And these devil's plans are hitting roadblocks. They're not going super smooth. Right. Everybody's bucking up against them. Right. They're, they're, nothing's going good. And then they're seeing the chariots of the Lord pop up. Right. And just as it was in the past, and those reports were that certain chariots were just sitting there switching off their missile defense systems, turning on nuclear warheads and turning them off. Right. So Esau is getting met with all this. So they're starting to call on. Right. Their priest on the left hand. And this is one of them. Right. When you go into this bitch's history and that. Think of spirit cooking. I got a video and Lord willing be edifying, but this woman promotes certain type of shit. And this article mixed in with this one lets you understand the time we're in. Right? It says John of God cult leader arrested for operating child sex slave farm. He kept teenagers as sex slaves and sold their babies for up to forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand euros. No, I think that's a pound. Forty thousand pounds. Right? It says, um, Sabrina Bittencourt commits suicide in Barcelona days after uh, accusing John of God of running a sex slave farm. Here is is a picture with Marina Ambrovic. Right. Ab, uh, Abram, Abramovic. Right. And this bitch is connected in because this is who they go to on the left hand to prosper in this world, to get guidance in this world. And now they're even putting it to the point where they want this bitch to be an ambassador. Right? Men in the old world understood having a having a Levite within your town to help you direct yourself and everything came with a blessing. Well, these people understand that, too. Having a witch on their side comes with their left hand blessing. So let me play this video. And Lord will this be edifying. Let me speed it up real quick. So you're in for a trip. I can't wait for this. <laughs> <laughs> Pull it up there's a uh, I don't want it on the search history. Oh, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. Tell so, me, yeah. So there's there's a popular um I guess you could call her influencer. She she does some work with the the elite political sphere and the elite popular culture people where they they approach her mm -hmm. and she becomes like a um like a, a director like a spiritual director where I'm going to give you a certain number of things to do and if you do those things you're going to attain what it is that you want to attain mm -hmm. whether it's political power or fame wow. and so some of the things that she's like, accused of doing or having people do is. I mean, it's satanic witchcraft, you know, so like things like cutting yourself, drinking blood, um, engaging in orgies and all sorts of like depraved things that spirit cooking, spirit cooking. Yep. What's spirit cooking? 
Go ahead, Thursday. Uh, <laughs> oh, I gotta Google it. It's super weird. Mm -hmm. She did this for Hillary. Um, no. She yeah, didn't. she was Hillary's... Uh, wow, Google is just openly listening now. That's fun. No joke. My phone just started, like, turned on. Uh, <laughs> so uh, she did this for Hillary. Um, a bunch of this stuff. She had spirit cooking parties with Hillary. Um, Holy mackerel. Yeah. So all of the uh, rights assumptions that the Clintons may be demonically influenced were... All right. I won't make the claim fully. She's done work with Jay-Z, Beyonce, uh, Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga mm -hmm. uh, the Clintons. Uh -huh. She did some stuff with Kim right before Kanye and yeah. Kim got divorced and uh -huh. Kim started having what affairs. But, uh, dark witchcraft. So as it sounds like you're saying that things came to the surface, what she was telling people to mm -hmm. do were really nefarious stuff. Right. Okay. So since that happened, since I know nothing about this mm -hmm. and I'm not, not disappointed that I don't, have people tried to defend themselves? Who have who've been known to... You see... <laughs> and she's consulted with all these people, done witchcraft on them, and they got blessings on the left hand side. So this is the time we're in. Understand the time we're in. The scriptures tell you we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Let me get that. This is um Ephesians six and twelve. It says, uh, you know what I gotta start up? Verse ten it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Yahweh by Shimei and in and in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to, to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right? What is the armor? You got to go into that. I understand what the armor of the Lord, man. Right? The best plate of faith. Right? The helmet of salvation. And your feet shoot about with the preparations of the gospel. You got to be fully immersed and fully submerged, and have your mindset on this truth. To, to be protected in these days, man. To have the wherewithal to be able to do those spiritual things. To stay locked in. To keep that covering that the Lord has given to brothers. Right? It says, verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Right? Let's go into that word, principalities. I want to get that. So that word for principalities, right? Archaea. Archaea. Strong's G, 746. Arche. Arche. And it says, beginning origin, the person or thing that commences, the first person. Um, right here, it says, of angels and demons. So we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. I right, see Esau turns the, the, the fight carnal, right? Because that's all he has. He's a carnal man. But when you really get down to it, right? The true fight started in the spirit. All the way back to the womb. It started there. What conflict was in the womb, right? These two souls whose temperament, beans, and lots came out so diversely different to where this fight is still going on now. That's what you have to understand. Verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against uh, principalities, right? Angels and demons, right? right? And demons are really angels on the left-hand side, right? Against powers and against rulers of the darkness of this world, right? And against spiritual wickedness in high places, and this is just a form of... And that's spiritual wickedness in high places. This this bitch is evil. Right? I don't know. I don't even know you can do that on there. That's wild. I didn't know you could do that. But this is what we're fighting against. It says, Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the most high, that ye may be able to uh withstand the evil day in the evil day. And having done all to stand. Right? This is the time we're in. Where the left hand's gonna start doing their evil sacrifices of hell and demons. I that shit's just hey, those things are just gonna crank up. Those things are gonna crank up. The amount of wickedness that we're gonna see is gonna increase. The the spirits on these people are gonna get more demonic. Alright? Because every time they did their witchcraft, they were met by what? The spirit. So what did, what did the prophets of Baal do? 
right? When the sacrifice wasn't working, when their prayers weren't being answered, what did they do? They started cutting themselves, crying more, right? So Esau's doing the same shit on the left hand. He sees shit's not going well. He sees the plans ain't running smooth like they once were. All right, so let's get into some of these precepts. This is Daniel's two, Daniel chapter two. And um, I'll start at one, it says, and in the second year of the reign of King Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed, dreamed dreams wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him, all right? And you, you better believe it that, hey, the Lord said in the last days, he would pour out his spirit upon all flesh, all flesh, right? So if the righteous are getting dreams, right, the wicked are getting dreams too, of the demise, the fall that they're going to get, right? And they're getting troubled just like this, right? It says, then the king commanded to all his magi mag magicians and astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans. For to show the king his dream, so that so they came and stood before the king. And this is what's happening in the spirit right now. This is what's happening. This is why certain moves like this, a bitch known for for supposedly her shit is supposed to be in a, a street artist, right? Supposedly getting lifted up to a status of an ambassador. Now this bitch was, they wanted her to be the inside witch, to make these things go through smoothly. To help them win whatever fights they were doing. Right? The Lord is pulling this devil to his feet and he's getting desperate. Esau is showing his, his desperateness, man. It's Isaiah 14. Or Isaiah 47 and 12. And I think it's the scripture that was on the picture. Isaiah 47 and 12. And it says, um. It says, uh. I'll start, at, I'll start at 11. It says. You know what? I got to start at 9. There's too much on this. It says, but these two things shall come up, come, to, come to thee in a moment and in one day. The loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their, in their perfection. For the multitude of thy sorceries. Right? This devil Esau. So-called white man. When you really go into his, his entire history. The masonry. Everything. All this shit goes back to witchcraft. All it goes back to Satanism. Right, it says, for the great abundance of thine enchantments, you see, for the for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, none seeth me, thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee, and thou hast said, in thine heart I am, and none else beside me. And he's been using witchcraft. He's been doing these things since the conception of America. This, it was all tied into witchcraft, man. The way that he, uh made paper something that holds no valuable to hold more to hold the same amount of weight as gold the way he made fractional reserve banking that shit was all fucking magic it was money magic right you turned it from gold to make people kill each other for literally paper it says verse 11 therefore shall evil come upon thee Thou shalt not st thou shalt not know from whence it, it riseth, and mischief shall come up, fall upon thee, and thou shalt not be able to stand. Uh, thou shalt not be able to put it off. Um, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, and thou shalt know, not know. Stand now with thine enchantments, and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth in, in a. As much as you devils try to refute the scriptures openly, you're ruled by them. Because this this is a show that they're doing exactly just this, standing by them, those enchantments, their sorceries. They're they're calling to the the those that uh, whisper to familiar spirits. They're doing everything that the scriptures say they would do. It says, if that if so be thou shalt be able to profit, if so be thou mayest prevail. Right. It says, uh, verse 13, for it says, thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels, right? They're, 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 they don't get any rest. This shit ain't working. It's not moving. 
It's not grooving like it used to, right? Let now the astrologers, astrologers the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. And that's exactly what this is. And you see the war ain't moving like it's supposed to, right? They see all these little countries bucking up. And who 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 are these devils getting money from? How are they sitting there doing it? They even you had um Ukraine put in a damn transformer for their spokesperson. They're going all the way in, man. They, they do hey when that didn't work, what they called on the top witch. Right? And what you're gonna see is a bunch more of these people start popping up. Right? Spirit cooking and shit. Hey, this this is wild, man. And that spirit cooking shit is disgusting. But this dude covered it in his video. He said, the, "Hey, he, she would tell him to do all this satanic shit, and that's how they would get their blessings in this world." It's Isaiah nineteen. It says, um, Isaiah nineteen and two. It says, "And I will set." The Egyptian against the Egyptian, and they shall fight everyone against his, his brother and everyone against his neighbor. City against city and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof. And I will destroy the counsel thereof. And they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to wizards. And that's what they're doing. They're seeking to the charmers. Those that have familiar spirits is doing right now. This is it. Because, hey, everything is failing. All the plans of the top witches coven. Because in America, you have the most witches. This is why all these idols are fucking in America. You got the bull on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the New York Stock Exchange. You got the, the uh, Molech in California. You got Burning Man concerts. Which is all going back to witchcraft. All these idols are in America. So they come here. They do their witchcraft. And this is has the most like, demonic ass energy in the world so this is the chief place for sorcerers and now what they're, they're they're calling upon them they're seeking to them right this is a uh, nahum three and nahum three and four it says because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot right america's that well-favored harlot Everybody wanted to do business. Everybody wanted to get in bed with America. Like, they got that term in business. They got in bed with a certain company. Right? Everybody wanted to get in bed with America. There's a, it's the well-favored harlot. It says the mistress, mistress of witchcraft. So I want to get that word, mistress. Name them three. Name them chapter three. says mistress female owner sorceress necromancer noun of relationship right Let's see if it has anything else in here all right so this is the owner the female owner of sorcery right this is uh the mistress of witchcrafts the sell it nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcraft Right? So they're sticking to this. But going on the same topic that I said in the beginning, this is this in the spirit, the same things that happened in Egypt, the same things that happened in Babylon, the same things that happened with Jezebel are happening now. This is uh, Exodus 7 and 11. Uh, I'll probably start up a little bit. It says, um, Exodus 7 and 10, it says, And Moses and Aaron went, into, went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as Yahweh commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent, right? Then Pharaoh also called so. So when, you, when he saw the power of the Lord, right? And that's what Esau seen, the power of the Lord right now. The rulers of this world, they're seeing the power of the Lord. It started off as a whisper of having men having this, this, this understanding this truth. And then that whisper is turning into a shout. And that was all surrounding them. 
Because what? The Lord said what? Uh, 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 we should be in the land of our, our captivities as little sanctuaries. Now all these sanctuaries popping up. More and more brothers are just hitting the street. Brothers are firm in their belief. Brothers are super firm in their belief. Right? So that stuff starts happening. Then you have uh, uh, the things that the brothers are saying starting to come into pass. And he's paying attention. Esau's paying attention. Remember, the scriptures tell you he's wiser than the, than the children. A lot, right? He's, uh, roughly paraphrasing, man. But this devil studies everything. He studies everything, man, especially the prophets. And he sees the things that we're saying is coming to true. And then what? The chariots start popping up. And whatever other things that they're seeing that we don't get a report on are starting to happen. So what do they do? They call on their 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 witches, their wizards to try to show them the same power. It says in Mo verse 10, it says, And Moses and Aaron went went in unto Pharaoh and, and did uh, did so as Yahweh commanded, and Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. serpent. Then Pharaoh also called his wise men and, and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. Right? That's what they're doing. They're calling on the sorcerers and telling them to do the same thing. Say, hey, you, you need to show us something that's happening. You know? And they're consulting with them. For they cast down every man his rod, and it became a serpent. But Aaron's rod swallowed up their rod, their rods, right? And so the power of the Lord was above them. And that's what they're getting hit with. It's a power that is above them. It's Daniel chapter, I already got Daniel too. I'll get um uh first Kings 18. I know on this one. First Kings 18. <laughs> And uh, 25. Let's get that. Let's get that. First Kings 18 and uh, start up a little bit. It says, um, verse 23, it says, no, 22. It says, then Elijah. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I alone, remain of a prophet in, of Yahweh. But by, by all his prophets are 400 and, 450 men. Let them therefore forgive us, uh, Salakia. Let them therefore give us two bullocks and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood. And put no fire under it. I will I and I will dress the other bullock and lay no uh, lay on it wood, and put no fire under. And call ye on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of Yahweh. And the and the God that answered answereth by fire, let him be the Most High. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. And Elijah, right. And that's what we're doing right now. Esau on his hand, on his side is telling you trust the science, right? There's more than uh, there's more than just man and woman. He's bringing up every fucking way. And he's telling you it's not okay to eat meat. He wants to cut off the sacrifice, right? He's pulling in a whole different way of being and a whole belief system within it. And we're coming down to the time where he's going to tell you got to take the chip to be a part of that new system. All right? To bow down to it. But he's going to have to prove his power. All right? And this is the show that was got, that's happening right now. In the spirit, this is a show that's happening right now. All right? Verse 25, it says, And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourselves and dress it first. For ye are many, and call on the name of your gods, but put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even unto noon, uh, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that, that answered, and they leaped upon the altar uh, which was made. 
And that's what's happening right now. They're calling on their side and it ain't working. It ain't moving smooth. The juice ain't juicing. Right? They're doing all the demonic shit. They're, 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 they're kidnapping more and more people. Right? They're killing more and more people. They're setting up more and more shit. And it ain't working. It says, and it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked him. And that's what we're doing right now. We mock him through the spirit. We tell him straight up, all that power you got ain't going to do shit for you. All the, all the weapons in the world you have, even if you try to come out the prophets, they ain't going to do shit for you. You ain't shit. That's what we say. We, you ain't nothing. You ain't never going to be nothing. You was never, you never was nothing. The Lord just gave you some time. But your time is up. That's what we do. We're mocking them and said, cry, cry aloud for for he is a God. Either he is talking or he is pursuing or he is in, in a journey or pre adventure. He sleep. He sleeping and must be awaked. It says, and they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and lancets. Right. Till the blood gushed out upon them. And this is this hey, this is a show of it. This right here is a show of it. Right? Because what did he say she promotes? She promotes cutting yourself, drinking blood, all that. So this is the desperate state that Esau's in. This is what's happening in the spirit. What we're seeing is coming to pass so much and is such great power. <laughs> Right through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Ain't through the spirit of no Jesus Christ, no Yeshua, no Yahuwah, none of that. It's through the name of Yahweh by Shimon Shai and things are happening. And on the left hand side, everything they're doing is starting to fail. Right? It says, Then it came to pass when midday was passed, and they prophesied until the time of the offering of, of the evening sacrifice. That there was not, not, uh, neither voice, nor any answer, nor any that regarded. Right? And Elijah said unto, the, unto all the people, come near unto me. And that's what we do. We tell the people to come near unto the Lord. Come with us. Take upon the burden of the Lord for his light. We tell the people that. Right? We go out there, hey, don't do this, don't do that. It's not hard to serve the Lord. You just got to have some self-control. Have some respect. Right. And all the people came near unto him and he uh, repaired the altar of Yahweh that was broken down. And Elijah took 12 stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of Yahweh came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones, he built altar in the name of Yahweh and made a trench about it. And as as great as as would as it would contain two measures of seed. So, okay, I got a, a cold right now. It's fucking me up. And he put uh, the wood in order and cut in, in and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him on the wood and said, fill four barrels with water and pour it upon the uh, upon the sacrifice and on the wood. All right, I'm going to jump down some because he did it three times. It says, um, verse 35, it says, in a water of uh, ran about uh, the altar and filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass at that time, at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah, the prophet came near and said, Yahweh power of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel. Let it be known this day that thou art the most high in Israel and that I am thy servant and that I have done all these things that the, uh, at thy word. Hear me, O Yahweh, hear me, that this people may know that thou art Yahweh power and that thou has turned uh, uh, thine heart back again. Then the fire of Yahweh fell and consumed the uh, burnt, uh, burnt sacrifice, right? That was some intense heat that hit it, right? You could just imagine it just it's basically vaporizing it. It says in the wood, in the stones, in the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. That was an intense heat that hit it. And this is what Esau is seeing, man. That intense heat of the power of the Lord is working through the men of the Lord, man. And things are happening for us, 
But shit is starting to fail for them, so they're calling on their sorcerers. This is what this is the time we're in, man. But Lord willing, this is Edifying. I'm gonna say call law, Yah by Shimia Shai, by Shimmer Kakadash. Shalom.